News 24-7. This program is brought to you by Globe Asiatic. Hi, I'm Sandy Lopez along with Master Community Builder Delton Lee. We are here at the GA Corporate Center in Quezon City. Welcome to the second season of the GA Report. I don't know if I'm a business tycoon. Very passionate about his communities. For him, it was how to be very different. I remember him uh, having to uh, having to go through long nights, working hard, trying to find, of course, trying to provide for the family. My dad's always the one with the vision. Then I'm always the one who's fixing his vision, trying to make it a reality. What I am today would be if it boils down to perseverance knowing what you want and really going for it. We had a whole season of Mr. Delphine Lee letting us in on new ways of thinking about putting up a business. In any business that we do, it's when you talk of CSR, it's actually giving back. Giving back to the community what we earn. A part of what we earn, we go, we blow it back. That's our that's what we call social responsibility by providing employment, generating employment, giving back to the local community where we are putting up our projects, the uh, chance for these people to, to earn. You have in-house uh, We do. We, when, we, when we develop a project, we have to come up with all sorts of financing okay. mm -hmm. for our prospective buyer. There are maybe one or two percent who would buy in cash. You think that's another problem? There are so many papers that you have to... Uh out every time you, you, you want to that's, have a house? That's part of the job, actually. That's mm -hmm. part of the requirement because you're transferring titles. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So we provide financing also through in-house financing mm -hmm. for those people who doesn't want to go to, to bank. And about fresh concepts on housing and property development. People are also saying that you're very unorthodox in your in your, your marketing strategy. There's one thing that we are, we're <laughs> never traditional. No amount of feasibility study will ever be actual homegrown interview with your prospective buyer. Mm -hmm. It used to be last year at sa ano? Sa lumang, uh, sa lumang municipio. municipio. So this is our first time to be here dito sa bagong site ko ng uh, bagong municipio natin dito sa May Sibera, Tabor. At talagang masayang masaya po yung ating mga kababayan. Dahil look at the amenities at saka yung lugar talagang fresh kong fresh po yung mga ating mga kababayan. Maluwang yung lugar. Enough space. Enough parking. Space, parking. At saka yung amenities, mga tindahan meron at saka meron mga rides, amusement talaga. Enjoy na enjoy po yung ating mga kababayan. And sobrang ganda ng kalapan pala talaga napaka napaka simple at saka ang mga tao din simple at sobrang the best ang mga puno. Fresh na fresh talaga, walang bahit ng ka, ng pollution. We also had a peek on some of the best development projects of Globe Shatic including the Severa in Bacalor and Mabalacat. And not to forget the Severa Neo Calapan in Oriental Mindoro, another bold enterprise of Globe Shatic. Like other Globe Shatic master plan communities, Severa Neo Calapan also houses government offices, commercial establishments, with a shopping mall serving as its centerpiece. Katulad ng Severa Development sa Neo Calapan, that is funded from a private mm -hmm. source, no? Hindi pera ng gobyerno itong ginagamit. Hindi lang ito negosyo, but economic and social. Eh. Langit kapag may bahay, may tao, commercial activities comes in. Kung wala yung globe, papasok ba ang ano doon, ang Robinson Land? Do we have a new city there? I don't think there? Yeah, that's why it's known as Neo Calapan. Mm -hmm. Neo, Severa, Neo. Neo Calapan. Globe Sharing also takes pride in providing livelihood opportunities to thousands of Mindoreños and boosting the peripheral industries as well. We all know that uh, the economic effect of building a house is 16 and 2 thirds times 
because of one housing unit. So, for 2 billion pesos, the, the economic activity that will be put or that will happen in this city will mean some 32 billion pesos. It will be the newest landmark of the province. This will be a one-stop shop destination which will showcase all the, uh, the recreational facilities, uh, residential, institutional, and other uh, facilities that will create attractions to all Mindoreños. To develop a housing uh, project, we need one community. Yes, sir. Yung kumpleto na. Although yun din ang pangarap ko sana sa aming mga relocation site, medyo mahirap dahil uh, gobyerno ang pera ng gobyerno ang ginagastos namin. We see to it lamang na may eskwelahan, palengke at ilang mga multipurpose uh, center. Yun lang. Pero yung katulad ng development kasi ng kay Delphine, ibang klase, kompletong kompleto siya. Stay tuned as DL joins us in the next half hour to review last season's highlights when the GA report returns. Welcome back to the GA report and uh, partner. Sasani, this is our season two. Season two, huh? <laughs> we survived season oh. one. <laughs> one we had uh, as our special guest, the head of the committee on housing, uh, Congressman RGB, huh? and the chairman of the lower the house. Chairman. Committee on Housing and Urban Development. Yeah, exactly. Hindi ba sabi mo itong parang father of the industry? I would consider Congressman Valencia as one of the pillars, the foundation of the industry. He started as a real estate broker, then he became a developer, and now he's the representative of Mindoro in the lower house. For so many times, huh? What did you learn from him? Yeah, RGB. Well, a lot, a lot. Because RGB looks at the, the uh, industry from a macro point of view. From the government point of view, yes. from the private sector's point of view. Maybe I can see only from my part, from my private, uh, from, from the point of view of a private developer. But uh, let's give it to the guy. He sees the whole picture. Well, aside from Congressman Valencia, we also had our guest here, uh, the president of Pagipic Fund. Yes. Uh, to discuss about the uh, the new policies, the guidelines, uh, the lowering of the interest rate, which was actually done during the time of uh, Vice President Bobby Well, they did pretty Kabaya. well. Parang report ng pag eh. they did pretty well. Uh, well, if, if there is one saving factor mm -hmm. in the previous administration, mm -hmm. I think housing would be considered one. Yes. Because there was really a uh, big surge in demand. And not demand alone, but affordability. Mm -hmm. I think that's the key word, affordability. No, Una, it was as high as 16%, uh, bumaba to 14 then 12 Now it is already as low as uh, 6% for a 400,000 loan. If you will translate that into monthly amortization, uh -huh. yung 400,000, ang monthly amortization yan is 2,000, 400. Hiram ka ng half a million, that's 3,500 a month. Hiram ka ng 750,000, that's 5,000 a month. Yung 1 million, it's only 7,800. Kaya, kayang-kaya talaga ng mga manggagawang Pilipino itong housing loan program ng Pag-ibig Fund.